Hey guys, this is Chris from Chris Productions on the Super Brick Reviews channel, and here I'm bringing you guys a super review on the uh, older Hoth Echo Base Limited Edition set. Thought I'd do this review because I got the set and it's Christmas. It's kind of a Christmassy set, and other than that, it's a pretty cool set. You get five exclusive minifigures, and um, in total, there's eight. So it's pretty cool. Um, it has. 773 pieces, it costs 120 Canadian and it costs 90 US. So I was able to get this out on sale at My Toys R Us here in Canada for 80, so it was actually 10 less than US price. So I thought that was a really good deal, so I picked it up and I'm doing a review of it right now. So, yeah, so let's get on to the minifigures. We get some really cool minifigures. Um, my awesome tripod that sucks here. Um, so we get Princess Leia Organa, and as you can see, she comes with a popsicle. They're pretty cool. Pretty cool printing. Printing. Same face as Princess Tamina. I've only seen that like ten times. Um, next we get the Trans Blue, Trans Blue, the Light Blue Medical Droid. Um. Yeah, not trans blue, that's for sure. So you can pretty much actually see everything on him. Um, you just get some really cool printing. And it's not focusing. Because it's lame. Ah, whatever. Next we get the, um, I think it's K3. R3PO. It's almost K3PO. Anyways, it's just C3PO in red, basically. Holy crap! Camera's not focusing. Rage face. Anyways, you can see him better there. Um, then we get the Han Solo, who's exclusive. Um, well, I guess just the hood piece, I, I believe. Actually, maybe he's not exclusive. He might have been in the at, -AT that came out um, the year before this. Um, I know I don't have that set, I really want to get it, but I don't have it, so um, I don't know. It's a pretty cool set, though. Anyways, he has a very cool hood piece. It's um, different from any other of those hood pieces that we've gotten before. And then there's his face, and there's nothing on the other side. His hood piece is pretty cool. You know, it's better than those old ones that they use for those Arctic sets. He also comes with regular hair and small blaster. Then we get Chewbacca, kind of getting used to him. He comes with a gunmetal colored crossbow, and he's Chewbacca. Then we get Luke in his back to tank naked outfit there. His awesome diaper there. Yeah, hardcore. Um, yeah, this is exclusive to the set. Very cool figure. It would be nice if we also got a um, healthy Luke. Because, um, yeah. Very cool printing, though. Uh, especially just on the face. Um, and then next we get two of these snow troopers. And I know you guys have seen these in the battle packs that were just discontinued, I think, last year. And, um, you know, we see them in a lot of sets. They're in that new Hoth, um, Battle for Hoth set. that comes with a snow speeder and just a bunch of guys. <laughs> Um, yeah, so those are the eight figures there. I'll clear them off. And um, let's get on to the set here. Um, first, I'll show you these few little smaller things that come with the set. We get a snow speeder. Failure. Very much like the one in the um, Ewok thing. $25 US set. Um, very similar to that. We get this turret which we have seen many times before in many different sets that were based on Hoth. You guys you see it? Yeah. Um, next we get the Tauntaun. He's pretty cool if you guys haven't already seen him. You get, he looks like this. It's a mold and then his arm pieces come out. He comes with um, a saddle and I made the mistake of putting the brick piece inside the saddle because it's very hard to get out. So um, basically, you just put that brick piece um, without the saddle, and then it's just like a 
on top without a saddle. So yeah, that's what that looks like. So we'll move on from there, move all these figures out of the way. Okay, so let's get on to the set here. And yeah. So um, I'm going to move the box out of the way because that's really... Um, there we go. Sorry, I got such a white backdrop that it's on. I can't see it very well. But anyways, so... Okay, so let's get on to the um, medical and kind of the cooler side of the base here. So first we get this back to tank, as you can see. And um, I really want to show you guys a close-up of this stuff on here because it's very cool. Um, so what happens is you can fold this down, if it works, like that, and then we can put Luke in there, because he's healing, kind of dead, not really, but, ah, too lazy. Makes him look more like he's floating in there, which he is, um, if you don't put him on the studs. And then we got this kind of little, um, I don't know, a tank of some kind, some kind of filled with something. I don't know. It looks really cool. It really adds to the um, the look of the place. Next we get this medical bed and we can put somebody on there like uh, Han because maybe Han is injured because he just seems to never get shot even on the Death Star. Um, yeah. So I'm going to show you the outside in a second. We got these weapon racks and they actually fold out so they can give um, weapons to the guys on the inside and out. Next we get this really cool piece, which um, it's not the piece isn't very cool, but it's the stickers that make it cool. So unfortunately it's not printed, which is really kind of the downside to this part. But we get lots of really cool star chart things, and none of them are printed. Super sad face. So anyways, as you can see, um, yeah, it's just a star chart. And then we've got a tube that connects to there. we got these lights kind of all over the place. Um, now, I really want to get you guys close up in there, but I don't think I'll be able to show you. There are also some stickers underneath here, and one is of the shield generator, and one is of AT-ATs coming towards the base. So, that's kind of the place where you dump. It's like the lookout from inside it's the chair where the person sits at the scanners. So, yeah. Um, next, we have this um, antenna. Pretty cool. So you could spin it if you wanted to, if you took this thing off. Yeah. So now we get to like the crate transport thing. And I thought this was very interesting because it's a cool idea and all, but it doesn't really um connect. Like there's no point in using this because it doesn't do much. Um Yeah. So there's some lights on here, as you can see. It uses some pretty cool pieces. This can actually be taken off very easily. Um these pieces can make it go up and down. All you have to do is really just push out these ladder pieces and then push it down like that. And now it's lower. It's 12, 15. Yes. Mac knows all. Oh, sorry. And we get these crates here. And what you can do is you can put them on here. If I can get it to work. And um, I don't really see the point in this because they're not really taking them anywhere. Ah. Why are you so hard to do? There we go. Yay. Victory. And the camera falls. Anyway, so this kind of just slides around. And there's really no point to it because there's no place for them to deliver the car cargo to. So um, now we'll go into the Tauntaun side of life. And um, this is where the crates are. So I don't know what's in there, if there's food or something. But we have this gate here. I'll fold that up, and you can see there's some uh, plants on it that they feed the Tauntaun. So this is where the Tauntaun sits. Um, I'll, I'm going to show you the doors that connect the place in a second. But the Tauntaun will probably stand here or whatever. And yeah. So there, as you can see, I don't actually know the point of it. It might be for the speeder. Um, but then again pretty sure that it's for the snow troopers, so I don't know what this is for. Oh. That's great. Um, I'm guessing if you see somebody else's review, they'll probably know. Anyways, I'm smart enough to know what that is. <laughs> so, um...
what is that for? I will find out. Because you guys will be like, oh, that's stupid. How do you not know what that is? No. Anyways, so that's that cool thing. You can see in the background we got all these um, kind of detail things. And it's the same thing over here. Some snow stuff. Um, there's like a fuel tank or something. And then we go up there and there's some turrets and I actually thought they were pretty cool, but they're kind of weird. So you can put a snow trooper, it's a trader up there, and he can shoot back. Very inaccurate to the movie and stuff, but yeah. And um yeah. So now I'll show you guys the um the doors that connect them. They're both exactly the same. Um and as you see here's a bit of a play feature. You pull this out and they fall down and kill people. Those are supposed to be like um, icicles or something. Um, anyways, we get lots of cool snow detailing all around. And some more lights. You know, there's snow detailing. There's these signs. Everything's pretty much a sticker in this out, which is very unfortunate because if these were printed pieces a lot of the time here, they would be worth a lot and because they're really cool pieces. Um, yeah. That's kind of my overview of the set as my tripod sucks. So, yeah. So that's the set, really. Um, now I'll show you guys the outside. Yeah, sorry about that. My entire set just collapsed on me. So, um, as you see, it can connect like that. And then the entire thing can connect like that. And I'm great at breaking everything. So it's very cool that you can just combine it like that, and it's kind of this more square base. Um, very ineffective though for um, younger kids, or if you're like it's it's more like the inside of a base. I know they tried to make it look like it's the outside, and they added play features and stuff for younger kids, but I just really don't buy it because if you have seen the movie, there's obviously no um, none of that. So right here. You get some awesome burp pieces, big random something pieces. Um, basically, just means that they're big pieces that are bulky. And um, yeah, so we get two of them. Very nice. And here's the weapon racks that fold down. Kind of interesting. And we get some snow detailing detailing on there. Um, and we head over here to um, Weirdville, and we get the um, Tauntaun cage and you can actually stop the ladders from falling by flipping these things over have the control thing you can flip it down and ride the Tauntauns out of there and then next we get this turret here to defend against AT-ATs and fail and it's not even like an accurate turret same with these things you know so overall this is really just a big playset and um, the only thing that I really think is worth it is the inside and the figures um, and the pieces are really nice though, so if you did find this on sale um, I, for a decent price, I'd recommend buying it um, for the pieces and stuff. At full price, unless you're a younger kid and you want it for the playset itself, um, like don't just go buy this for the figures because it's a bit much for, for just the figures. Um, yeah, so anyways, but there's some very nice pieces. The base plates on this are, um, I believe it's 8 by 16 and you get 4 of them. So it's a pretty big, um, or maybe it's 8 by 12, I'm not quite sure, but it, they're very large, and you get four of them. So, very good if you want to do a hoth or a snow mock of some kind. Um, yeah, other than that, some really nice pieces, very nice set. I don't really want to start doing ratings, but um, for price, it's not that good, but I definitely think for the playability features, if you're a younger kid, definitely go for it. It's pretty cool. But, apart from that, that's everything. This was limited edition, so I'm guessing that they won't be selling it for that much longer now that it's Christmas 2012. So, yeah. Anyways, um, see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe. More reviews coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.